Hi, hello guys, welcome back to Alan Talks. In today's video, we've got a plethora of news from the worlds of Marvel, DC, and Hollywood. But before we dive in, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all the latest news and content related to your favorite franchises. So let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the phenomenal success of Deadpool and Wolverine, which has just broken the $1 billion mark at the global box office. This blockbuster has reinvigorated Marvel Studios after a series of underperformers. Let's dive into the details and see how it stacks up against other MCU giants. Starring Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, Deadpool and Wolverine held its number one position in its third weekend, even against strong competition from It Ends With Us, starring Reynolds' wife, Blake Lively. The film has grossed $495 million domestically and $535 million overseas, totaling an impressive $1.03 billion globally. This puts Deadpool and Wolverine in an elite group of Marvel films to have crossed the $1 billion mark. It's now just shy of surpassing Joker to become the top-grossing R-rated movie ever. It has already beaten The Passion of the Christ domestically and overtaken past MCU hits like Black Panther Wakanda Forever and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Directed by Sean Levy, this film is produced on a $200 million budget and marks the debut of both Deadpool and Wolverine in the MCU, following Disney's acquisition of 20th Century Fox. The movie's success is not just about box office numbers. It has also been a hit with audiences and critics alike. With its positive reception and record-breaking performance, Deadpool and Wolverine is proving to be a game-changer for Marvel. The film explores the multiverse, a theme that's becoming increasingly central to the MCU. So, what are your thoughts on Deadpool and Wolverine smashing the $1 billion milestone? Do you think it will continue climbing the box office ranks? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on your favorite movies. Thanks for watching. Wolverine. Be damn straight it is. Disney brought him back. They're going to make him do this till he's 90. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the incredible box office success of Deadpool and Wolverine, which is on the brink of crossing the $1 billion mark globally. Let's break down the numbers, the records it's smashing, and what this means for the future of superhero films. Deadpool and Wolverine has taken the global box office by storm, breaking new records since its release. The film debuted with a staggering $440 million worldwide in its first weekend and quickly surpassed the $500 million mark. As of now, it stands at an impressive $824 million globally. This R-rated superhero blockbuster has become the top-grossing R-rated movie in domestic history, surpassing even the previous Deadpool films and rising up the ranks to challenge Joker's all-time R-rated record of $1 billion. Deadpool and Wolverine has overtaken several MCU hits, such as Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, and Thor, Love and Thunder. It's on track to surpass movies like Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Directed by Sean Levy, the film was produced on a $200 million budget and follows Deadpool and Wolverine on a multiverse-hopping adventure to the void. Joining forces with unexpected allies, they take on the villainous Cassandra Nova, played by Emma Corrin. Despite a slightly more muted critical response compared to Logan, the film sits at a fresh 78% on Rotten Tomatoes, with audiences praising its irreverence and action-packed storyline. So, what do you think about Deadpool and Wolverine potentially crossing the $1 billion mark? How do you feel about Robert Downey Jr.'s return as Doctor Doom in the MCU? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more movie updates. Thanks for watching. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're diving into the latest news from D23 that has Avatar fans buzzing. Disney officially announced the new title for the third installment in the epic Avatar saga, Avatar, Fire and Ash. Let's explore what this means for the franchise and what we can expect in this exciting new chapter. 
The Avatar series is a testament to James Cameron's visionary storytelling. With each film, Cameron continues to expand his magnum opus. Zoe Saldana, who plays Neytiri, recently expressed her excitement for the upcoming films, calling them groundbreaking and trailblazing. Avatar, Fire and Ash, promises to pick up where The Way of Water left off, with the return of beloved characters like Jake Sully, Neytiri, and Quaritch. After the events of the last film, tensions are high on Pandora, with new clans and biomes to explore. The film will continue to push the boundaries of film technology, promising a visual spectacle that redefines cinematic storytelling. As Cameron expands the Avatar universe, viewers can expect to be introduced to new Navi clans and explore new regions of Pandora. Avatar Fire and Ash hits theaters on December 19, 2025. What are you most excited to see in the next chapter of this groundbreaking saga? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Avatar updates and movie news. Thanks for watching. Hey, horror fans, we've got some spine-chilling news about the IT prequel series. Welcome to Derry. Andy Muschietti, the mastermind behind the IT movies, will be directing four episodes of the new series. The full season will be nine episodes long, and here's the best part. Bill Skarsgård is officially returning as Pennywise. We can't wait to see what terrifying new stories and scares Welcome to Derry will bring. With Muschietti at the helm and Skarsgård back as the iconic clown, this series is sure to deliver all the horror we love. The series will dive deeper into the lore of Derry, exploring the town's dark history and how Pennywise came to be. What are you most excited to see in Welcome to Derry? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on this exciting new series. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. <laughs> hey, Sonic fans, the wait is over. Paramount Pictures just dropped the first trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and it's packed with surprises. From Sonic and Dr. Robotnik teaming up to the introduction of Shadow the Hedgehog, there's a lot to unpack. Let's dive into the details. This time around, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles are up against their toughest challenge yet. Shadow the Hedgehog, voiced by none other than Keanu Reeves. Shadow is a rogue experiment who's ready to wreak havoc, and it looks like Sonic and his friends might be in over their heads. But that's not all. Dr. Robotnik, played once again by Jim Carrey, is back. And in a shocking twist, he's teaming up with Sonic. After hitting rock bottom, it seems the only way for Robotnik to climb back up is by joining forces with his former enemy. This is a huge deal, especially since Carey had previously hinted at retirement, making his return even more epic. Though she said she wants you, would you That's do it? That's a lovely thing. Yeah. It's a lovely thing. Well, I'm retiring, but... No. Uh, yeah, probably. Are you being serious or are you screwing with me? I'm, I'm being fairly serious, yeah. yeah. Really? Why? I, it depends. It depends if, you know, if, if uh, the angels bring some sort of you know, script that's, you know, written in gold ink that says to me that it's going to be really important for people to see. I might, I might continue down the road, but I'm taking a break. Yeah. Well, we need, I, I really like my quiet life and I really love putting paint on canvas and I really love uh, my spiritual life. And, uh, and uh, I, 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 I feel like, and this is something you might never hear another celebrity say as long as time exists. Uh, I have enough. I've done enough. I am enough. So. The trailer also promises plenty of Easter eggs for diehard Sonic fans. And Idris Elba, who voices Knuckles, mentioned that this film will dive even deeper into the Sonic universe. From what we've seen so far, 
it's clear that this movie will be a thrill ride from start to finish. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is set to hit theaters on December 20th, so mark your calendars. What are you most excited about? The return of Doctor? Robotnik? Shadow's debut? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more updates on all things Sonic. He is much more impressive than the hedgehog I fought previously. Dude, I'm standing right here. Well, that's all we have for today, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your fellow fans. And remember to subscribe for more exciting updates from the worlds of Marvel, DC, and Hollywood. Until next time, stay super. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.